एस एस डू सस्टेनेबल सोशल डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होस्टेड एंड इंटरफेथ हार्मनी समिट इन इस्लामाबाद अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ फॉरन डेलीगेट्स एथनिक एंड रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी लीडरशिप पार्टिसिपेटेड इन एन ओपन डायलॉग ऑन फोस्ट मैरिजेस माइनॉरिटी राइट्स एंड मेयर्स टेकन बाई द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान विच इंट्रोड्यूस्ड न्यू लॉ प्रोटेक्टिंग माइनॉरिटी राइट्स Once again, I wish from all of you to settle down because we are moving formally toward our second session. Please, Mr. Sukhdev Asardas Kimani, member of Sindh Human Rights Commission, Government of Pakistan. Now I invite Mr. Zegam Khan, Senior Journalist, Development Practitioner, to moderate the panel discussion, promoting interfaith dialogue and understanding. Now I formally hand over the stage to Mr. Zegam Khan for the moderation. Oh, sir, no rule. is excluded because of their identity or because of their capabilities and certainly because of their faith so since this conference is about faith and it will be harmony and as we are uh, going to discuss a different future for this country i divide my questions into three parts for all panelists first of all i would invite you to talk about the things that we have done wrong and we need to do different think about policies think about actions think as a government think as a nation think as a people as well so these are the three set of questions i am going to put to all panelists but i'll go one by one and one question after another since there's some limitation in terms of time three minutes to each panelist for each question so let me start with the first question what we have done wrong and we must stop doing it इंटरफेथ आर्मी एंड सोशल एंड लीगल राइट्स ऑफ द मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटीज अक्रॉस पाकिस्तान सो दिस इज समथिंग वी डिड रॉन्ग इन आर सोसाइटी दैट अल्टीमेटली रिजल्टेड इन टू सोशल इंटॉलरेंस टूवर्ड्स इशू एंड अवे डाइवर्सिफाइड कैटिंग हेयर एंड द टॉपिक इज so uh, i must say important uh, that our whole pakistan survival and peaceful survival depends upon that and if we if we look back 10 years years or maybe many more years uh, our observations are that normally uh, whenever any government is formed their focus is on the financial economic political stability but we believe that you know a country can prosper much better if the focus is on nation building and nation building includes you know uh, people irrespective of their religion their uh, you know affiliations uh, their backgrounds uh, is based on the phenomena of human rights and citizenship and one of the foremost strategies should be the national level uh, political will ideology and the access to uh, all the human rights services at one hand and on the other hand being the former chairperson of the national commission on the rights of child i always believe that those nations who want to grow with sustainable you know uh, mindset they always invest in their children the human rights lens you raise the question that what wrongs have been done if we see in the history we are seeing the persecution of religious groups or people belonging to one faith by the others and that we saw the religious civil war from 1618 to the 
that led to the Westphalian Treaty. And that Westphalian Treaty brought the concept of the state sovereignty in which it was agreed that irrespective of the size of the country, big or small. I think the question was where we have gone wrong. Uh, I would say we have went wrong uh, uh, in most of the things. We talk about uh, social economic alienation of minorities, but we don't connect the dots or we don't look at the history as such. For example, we said the uh, very foundation of Pakistan was uh, on the basis of Islam. I would like to uh, differ with this thing because if you look at the Indian uh, Councils Act of 1909, the Indian uh, Elections Act of 1935, the very purpose for separate elections uh, for Muslims in the uh, United India, which was the very basis for the creation of Pakistan uh, in 1946 elections, uh, through which uh, the Muslims got uh, uh, elected in separate electorate. The very purpose of it was not to get Muslims elected uh, uh, into the legislature, but the minorities elected into the legislature. So this was the issue of uh, majority, uh, majoritarianism and minority. National Commission for Minorities, Bill I have submitted in the National Assembly increase of seats, the Bill of increase of seats for religious minorities in four provincial assemblies in the National Assembly that has been submitted in the National, uh, the, uh, in the national Assembly and uh, adding this, I would say that before these elections we had a very a uh, good meeting of Christian uh, activists and civil society organization with President Asamali Zardari. <clears throat> he promised us that the legislation that to be made for minorities, we have a plan, and I, uh, I have uh, and uh, uh, I have the support of my leadership for this all this legislation that I have shared with you in the National Assembly. So, we must, what are our potentials or what are the positivity <laughs> I think what SSDO has been doing for Interfaith Harmony and for the other <laughs> successful projects is really appreciable and a step towards peace obviously Rome wasn't built in a day and obviously this will take time for us to build that perfect uh, society where discrimination and the concept of majority and minority can be banished. Well, uh, I would uh, like to say about the potential and the power of humanity. Human beings are created with enormous powers. Human beings have power to adopt a lot of things and to reject and go against a lot of things, whether in nature or in the physical world. Thank you, Mr. Zikam Khan and all the honorable panelists for sharing us your views and insight with us. Thank you so much. As we approach the conclusion of our summit, I am honored to invite Dr. Ehsan Siddiq, Director General National Police Bureau, to deliver the closing remarks. Please, Dr. Ehsan Siddiq. Distinguished panelists, honorable guests from the United States, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my profound privilege uh, to be part of this uh, session. And uh, I must congratulate at the very offset SSDU, which I am disclosed, and uh, all neighbors who are jointly organizing this uh, event on a very, very important issue. An Israeli uh, which doesn't believe in pluralism, tolerance, and coexistence is bound to uh, suffer and uh, it cannot progress and it cannot sustain itself. So it's one of the very rare occasions for me to hear such things that we have heard in the last one hour in presence of our uh, uh, members of distinguished uh, delegate from abroad and also the honorable uh, community uh, leaders uh, from different parts of the country. Now that is something uh, very heartening to, to note. From all these speakers who are in their own rights, they've been of human rights, they 
lead the civil society and uh, they are the true voice of uh, the, the downtrodden and uh, marginalized and they have been doing a great work for this cause. So coming these things from these uh, very honorable and widely respected figures, uh, I'm really uh, amazed glad as representative of the government of Pakistan. And uh, I very gladly note that uh, the speakers have uh, alluded to presence of political will, uh, an evolving, enabling legal and policy framework where the rights of the minority communities take precedence, and also the recognition of institutional mechanisms to redress any violations of uh, either constitutional provisions or rights uh, otherwise given protection under different uh, laws and policies. I also fully endorse uh, the, the views expressed by distinguished panelists that uh, to take this process, these very noble initiatives during the last particularly one decade, or maybe over the last one decade forward, we must adopt a human rights, community oriented and whole of the society and all of the nation approach. Because unless we do it as a collective responsibility of this society, uh, individual institutional efforts might not yield their results and uh, that's where I think that the role of one of the panelists referred to the role of uh, the religious leaders in some ways the wrong people have hijacked the religious platforms to spread hate and uh, uh, misguided uh, masses of the religion. So as uh, uh, the, what the panelists uh, said, that uh, the, the essence of all the religions is the same, the spirit of all the religions is the same, so we should also encourage such progressive religious leaders who, who are for the uh, pluralism for the uh, interfaith harmony and respect for rights of the other uh, members of the society which are not, as the Rams have said, uh, due to not merely uh, religious or ethnic, but due to this uh, issue of intersectionality and class and uh, SSDO for Sir Abbas and Steve. On the participants for sharing their inputs on this very important. At the end, discussion panel received honorary shields from Sayyid Kausar Abbas, the Executive Director, Sustainable Social Development Organization. Mazar Iqbal, Bureau Chief Islamabad, Fourth Pillar TV, USA.